Ever wondered how a billionaire like Donald Trump manages his finances? Well, let's say it's as stable as a roller coaster on the moon. The former president's net worth is a well-guarded secret, thanks to a labyrinth of limited liability companies. And just like a magician's sleight of hand, the value of these assets has a knack for dramatic fluctuation. Take for instance his private jet company, Tag Air Inc. In the span of three months, the value went from a modest $1,001 to somewhere between $5 to $25 million. Talk about a financial summer body transformation. It's almost as if Trump's balance sheet was on a high-protein diet. This fluctuation could be due to many reasons. Repayment of loans, changing market values, or even legal concerns. But the exact reasons remain as elusive as the man himself. So, while we may not understand the exact science behind Trump's financial acrobatics, one thing is clear. It's never a dull moment in the world of Trump's finances. But Trump's financial prowess doesn't stop at his fluctuating assets. No sir, he's also a master at making deals, especially when he was in office. Now, let's take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? During his presidency, Trump's businesses earned a tidy sum of at least $7.8 million from 20 foreign governments. Yes, you heard it right, 20. A particularly intriguing part of this financial jigsaw is the transactions with China and Saudi Arabia. Can you imagine? The man who once said, I beat China all the time, actually had his businesses pocketing millions from the very same country. Talk about a plot twist. And let's not forget Saudi Arabia, where he conducted deals that added to his coffers. It's almost as if he was playing a real-life game of Monopoly, but instead of buying hotels and properties, he was raking in millions from foreign governments. Now this brings us to the infamous art of the deal. It seems that for Trump, the art of the deal was not just about business strategies, but also about, well, making money from wherever he could, even if it meant blurring some lines. So whether you think Trump's dealings are smart or just plain audacious, there's no denying that he knows how to make a buck or a few million. So is Trump a financial magician or just a master of smoke and mirrors? Let's take a moment to recap. We've delved into the intricate labyrinth that is Trump's financial structure, where asset values fluctuate faster than a roller coaster at an amusement park. One moment, his private jet's worth barely $1,000, next thing you know, it's valued up to $25 million. Talk about a dramatic upgrade. Let's not forget the intriguing income from foreign governments during his presidency. Mr. Trump managed to rake in a cool $6 million from China and Saudi Arabia. Now whether you see this as a stroke of genius or a questionable maneuver, it does make for a fascinating tale. And the mystery deepens. Is he a financial virtuoso conducting a symphony of successful deals? Or is he simply a master illusionist creating an elaborate spectacle of smoke and mirrors? Ah, the enigma that is Trump's financial acumen. While we may never fully understand the method to Trump's financial madness, one thing's for sure. It's definitely a wild ride.